Libra, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors. And darlings, this is your What the Fuck reading um, for the 15th to the 22nd um, of March. I have an announcement to make. Um, due to not being very well and my energies being completely um, depleted, I've made a decision around the channel. Now, I have posted this, so it shouldn't be any great shock to anybody. I am going to keep the What the Fuck readings going love doing them they're not going to have a designated day i will be doing them as and when i can throughout the week and um, posting them whatever when i was doing it ad hocly and i was doing um the elements in a muddle kind of way sometimes it would be air sometimes it would be earth I felt more energy doing it that way where I, when I gave it designated days it just depleted my energy and not being well as well so what I've decided is that new um, reading that I've put up last week I'm not going to continue with that um, and, the, and the other reading that I do the law of attraction reading um, I am going to have a rethink about that I may just try to continue with that i won't put one up for april but i may try to continue with that later on in the year but in a different format um so just look out for that but right now the only reading that you will see come up for um angels and ancestors is going to be the um what the fuck readings it's what the channel's built on the everybody seems to really like them so that's a decision that i've made um and that's where we're going with it so let's get on with your reading have an energy card for libra please thank you oh i like this card libra it says healing healed healer and it says healing energy surrounds you at this time. Oh, and this situation. Sorry, I missed that little bit, didn't I? Right, so let's see what happens in your reading, Libra. What started the what the fuck for Libra this week? Blimey, they're being a bit tight, aren't they? Let's just cut them again. I have what started the what the fuck for Libra. That's better. Bit of a story Libra, but hey, at least we've got some cards out. Um, facing fears, taking your power back. Lovely, that's better. And then your manifestation wish fulfillment. Oh, nice Libra. Your movement, your journey. What the fuck you can do about the situation. What the fuck is out of your hands, my darlings? reconnecting to your true self your outcome so darlings what started your what the fuck you got the world tray 
okay so libra you've got the world tree this is a yes card this is your roots are deep you're splaying out over night and day all seasons and waiting for the opportunities to come into you and i'm getting the opportunities are there whatever they are whether they are around family home um career love i'm getting that the opportunities are coming around to you uh, this is a yes card and it's kind of saying yes to new projects plans and people um there's opportunities coming up for you that are just gonna open your world up um, this is with passion and desire. This is you taking that bite of that cherry that is so sweet that you've never experienced anything quite like it. And Libra, look lovely, you've done it for yourself with the Nine of Chalices. This is you sitting at that table looking at that crystal ball at your future. You've got the fire of passion behind you. Your chalices are all in the upright, so everybody's got your back over this. And... I'm getting celebrations of a partnership. Now, for me, the two chalices isn't just about love, but there's celebration of a partnership of sorts. Now, this partnership could be business, love, parents, siblings, cousins, friends. Let's cover all bases. It's a partnership. There's going to be celebrations around it. So let's not limit ourselves into thinking that it's one or the other but right in behind that all of that is so fucking incredibly good and then right in behind that you get the four of pentacles now if your savings for something that's absolutely fine it really really is fine uh, but if somebody's knocking at your door asking for money that really doesn't belong to them tell them to fuck off turn your back on them um, they, they've got no right to be doing that. Got no right to be peering through your windows. They haven't got to be any, any bloody right um, to make you feel that you've got to hide things away. Now I'm kind of getting that for some of you, this isn't going to be about finances. For some of you, this is going to be something emotive. This is going to be something you're holding on to um, and that you're not letting go of because I'm getting that it's family orientated. Um, and it could be that there is a bone of contention going on around an issue, a problem that's happening. Libra, don't take any flack over this. This is not your responsibility to sort it out. It's not your responsibility to fucking pay for it. Whatever this problem is, if it's a family problem, then the entire family um, deals with it. All of them. Now, if that's career related... You may feel a little bit stuck. You may be feeling that you're not pushing on too fast. But look at the rest of those cards. This is just your feeling. If that's around work, it's just your feeling. Everything else is in place. You should be feeling a lot better than kind of like, shit, there's no pay rise this year. You, should, you shouldn't be feeling like that. Unfortunately, if you're in the UK, that's exactly how we're all feeling right now. Um, but yeah, darlings, there is movement, there is movement, you know, you started off what the fuck really well, and then all of a sudden you've gone, oh, I'm holding on to everything, emotions, money, everything, just everything, and it's almost like you've gone into shutdown mode right at the last minute. So darlings, facing your fears and taking your power back, I'm getting that you're missing somebody. Um, you may not be aware of this, but someone has attempted to come to the door, um, but the door has been half shut on them, as you can see in the picture. And I'm not getting that you've, it's not that you've ignored them, you just don't know that they've been there. Um, and it could be that somebody's trying to contact you. It doesn't necessarily have to be a lover. It can be um, an old friend. It can be a family member. But definitely kind of like someone's been trying very desperately to bring in some sort of contact um, to you. And I'm getting that you're a bit fed up with not hearing from this person. Um, so what I'm going to say to you is exactly this, facing your fears and taking your power back. If that's the case for you, if you are missing somebody, if there is something that is, sorry, put a bee up your ass 
and you just can't let it go then you need to action this you need to put it into action and maybe just drop somebody a letter maybe just drop them a card thinking of you maybe just a text message are you okay it doesn't have to be intrusive it does and if you don't get anything back from that person then you've got your answer and then you've got the opportunity to move on but darlings i am i'm kind of getting that you're not aware that they have wanted this connection back with you as well but like i say it doesn't have to be um, lovey dovey it could be a friend or a family member that has has had the same thoughts and feelings of you and they're missing you just as much as you're missing them so darlings your manifestation your wish fulfillment why it may be fucked it ain't fucked why are you manifesting yourself what on earth is that about don't i'm kind of getting for you the reason the reason you could be doing this is that you may be feeling a bit stuck you may be feeling that things have stalled for you um in all aspects i'm not getting this one aspect i'm getting it's physical mental emotional spiritual and sensual if that is the case if you feel that things have stalled for you take a really good look at what's around you take a really good look about your projects your plans what it is that you set out to do and whether you've been feared off course and you're being pulled back into line again if this is around um emotions and feelings kind of think to yourself what started this where has this trigger come from and try and work backwards from there to retrace your steps to where you felt okay um as you know i am a libra um, and I've recently had to do this. Um, this is past tense for me. I don't know whether that's fortunate or not. Um, but I had to retrace my steps. And I have to say that there were two main reasons why um, I got stuck. And I'm kind of getting that I'm not the only Libra that has been manifesting themselves to come back. So darlings, take a leaf out of your own book. Use that athame to draw down energy from the universe and cut away all the debris that no longer serves you and you will find yourself standing beautifully back in your power, confident. You know you're intelligent and intuitive. You know that. But you will stand back here. This will end up here if you cut away what no longer serves you. If you cut away what it is that you think spin in your way just magically move blocks out of the way exactly what you need to do so where your journey and where the fuck you need to be darlings you have got the six of wands now the six of wands is the accolade card you've done something that has stood you in good stead and now you're coming back to celebrations with friends family and community and i heard colleagues there is something a stirring around you where you are being noticed you are being noticed and i have to say that i'm getting that for some of you you're really enjoying it but for some of you you're like really you just haven't got the energy you just <laughs> haven't got the energy but what's happening is because of this you are sending out vibes energy your aura whatever it is the shining light of inside and you are attracting new people towards you now darlings you have got the king of wands straight in behind this now this king is going to be aries leo or sag it could be somebody that you know it could be somebody brand new um but this person has got a handle on life they stand in their king energy male or female uh, they know what they want they go and get it now it could be that you're being told if you know what you want go and get it or it could be that this is somebody around you and you're what they want and they're going to come and get you now it doesn't mean that it's going to be a love conquest or anything like that it just means that somebody is thinking about you somebody's thinking about you um and it could be that if the contact is made and this 
passion, this desire is kind of filtered out and sorted out properly, that you'll feel like you're coming back triumphant. You will have to learn to enjoy the ride because you haven't got the reins in your hands, but you will feel completely different. And do you know what? Divine, I hate that word, divinely guided. No, this is this is guided from those that are working in the background. So your angels, your ancestors, your guides, and all of that. They have got a hand in this because you ain't got your hands on the rain. Somebody has to. So just sit back and enjoy the journey because it's going to happen whether you like it or not. And what was I saying about you using your magic to magically clear blocks out of the way? On your journey, you've got the Page of Wands. And he is all about magically clearing those blockages out of the way. And then, my darlings, on your journey, you're going to move into calmer waters with the six of a famous um, and look beautifully towards your future. And then in there, right behind that, you have the harvest card. I'm getting that you've been waiting for this for a while, darlings. But your harvest is about to come in, Libra. It tr truly is. It truly, truly is about to come in. I mean, that is absolutely gorgeous, except for that one card where you've just gone, I'm shutting down. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not participating. Then you've got fed up about things. Then you're kind of like, well, where have I gone? It's almost like you've lost yourself. So you're manifesting, man, manifesting yourself back again. But on your movement and your journey, it's lovely. What a lovely journey. That you've got friends, family, community and colleagues around you that are celebrating you, that are, you are being noticed. But you are being noticed to the point where you've pricked somebody in particular, their interest, male or female. You've pricked their interest and there is something that is afoot. There, there's this, oh, just this movement. There's just movement towards this. And the movement is guided from the other world. It really is. And blocks are magically going to clear out of the way. You're going to see your future clearly and the harvest is going to come in. Now, what you can do about the situation. Oh, my Lord, Libra. Really? Even though I've got a big grin on my face. It's sun card. This is the best day you've ever had in your life. This is that best day, that best summer's day that you've really, really enjoyed yourself, done everything you've wanted, you've kicked back, you've relaxed, you've connected with friends, family, you've done things, you've gone out places, and you just feel like the world is just perfect. That's the feeling this sun card gets, and that's the feeling that they want you to have from the universe. They want you to have this. This is what you can do about it. It's just bloody enjoy it because right in behind there you have got celebrations with friends family and community not once but twice twice and then there's celebration of a couple over there celebration of a couple over there my lovelies libra this is a wish fulfillment there may be some healing to do around this issue. Maybe some healing. Maybe something happened at work. Maybe something's happened with somebody that you really liked in the past. A friend. Possibly a lover. Or even a family member. Maybe some healing, but it's a wish fulfillment. Look at that. You've got the sun and the star on the same. Oh, I swear to God. How many majors have you got in here? One two three four five so far you've got five majors this is a major shift talk about heal healing healed and healer um i'm massively getting that that's what this is about healing you've done the healing you've become healed you've kind of got over that bit and now you're offering out healing to something or somebody else my lovelies, I swear I've never seen Libra get such a good bloody reading as this. I re honestly, I haven't. I haven't. So, lovelies, what the fuck you can't do about this? There is something going on. This is nature, okay? This is about 
self-limiting, self-restricting, or it could be that you're listening to somebody else who's trying to limit and self-restrict you. This doesn't have to be a lover. It doesn't have to be anybody in particular. It just could be somebody that's whispering. Now, I don't normally get that. I normally get self-restriction on this, but I am getting an essence that maybe somebody is having a little whisper and you are actually the bear. And it's this person here that is setting the trap that is kind of like, you don't want, you don't want to go there. And it's whispers. And that bear's going, oh, fuck that. I ain't putting my paw in that trap. I'm off. I'm going to dance with the fairies. You can do what you like, but I'm not fucking listening to it. The universe is saying, don't listen to it. Do not listen to it. Do not listen to bollocks and bullshit from other people. And it is out of your hands. They are going to have this opinion. They are going to say what it is that they want to say to you. But the universe is saying, just let it fucking go. Just let it pour out. Even if it means that you lose a friend or you fall out with a family member, you really have got to stand in your power over this, darlings. Because I am getting an essence. There is somebody that's knocking at the door there that is stopping this person knocking at the door here there's a blockage but it's saying magically move the block and what's out of your hands what they've said uh uh you don't need to deal with this although it's going to happen they're just saying just let it go just nod your head in all the right places yeah i understand what you're saying yeah i get what you mean and then just go and do what it is that you want to do darlings you're entitled to make your own bloody mistakes you don't need somebody coming down on you like a ton of shit telling you what you can and can't do. And I'm kind of getting, just let it go, let, let it go or let them go, is what I'm hearing. Reconnecting to your true self. Libra, you have got the Leap of Faith card with the green man. To reconnect with you, stop overthinking things, stop over processing things, just do it. Just do it. You will not know the excitement and the feeling of achievement until you try this at least once in your lifetime. Take a leap of faith. That will reconnect you to your true self. The outcome card, darling, is somebody is really trying to impress their thoughts and feelings, their attitudes onto you. They are. And you're just going to have to go, uh, uh I want that one. They're going to push something in your face, go, no, have this one. And you're, you're going to have to stand your ground and basically, and I'm sorry, if this is a friend of yours or this is a colleague of yours, you're just going to have to, sorry, put your big girl knickers on or your big boy pants on and you're just going to have to tell them to fuck off. Because at the end of the day, if they don't listen to you going, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm taking on board what you want to say, um, but I'm still going to ha have my moment because I don't want to be restricted. I don't want self-limitation. I want to be open to be able to receive anything that's coming my way. You may have to get a little bit more forceful with the five of the thames and tell this person where the fuck to go. More healing on the horizon. You have the Queen of Chalices. Darling, whatever's coming in towards you, she knows you need to heal. She knows you need to fill this cup up. And she will be the first one to tell you if you need to divert your way around an issue. But darlings, listen, when you're standing in the Queen energy, and I'm getting that this isn't another energy outside of you, this is you. So either you've got heavy water signs within your chart, or you just need to step into this energy. You've already done the healing. You have. You've been asked to do a little bit more healing. She's asking you to step into the waters to do some more healing. And I'm getting it around this issue. I'm getting around, it's around this issue. And do you know what? I've just, I've just, it still could be friends and family, but I've just heard last summer. So whatever happened for you last summer, this is relevant to this. It's relevant to this. So, darlings, take a leaf out of the Queen of Chalice's book, Heal. Fill that cup up for you so whatever it is that's coming towards you, you can say to the other person, unless, unless your cup is full and overspilling 
and it complements my cup, it's a no-go. But if it complements me and it is... Quite, I, I don't want to say that it's a match because that would mean that um, they, they want the same things. You don't want that. You want things that are going to be interesting. But what you want is a complementation, them to accept you and you to accept them, warts and all. If that's the case, then we've got a good chance of this. Absolutely. So, darlings, let's get a Whispering Woods for you for this week. You've got the Learn card. Take a lesson from the owls. Deeply observe the night and you'll become... A little wiser in the day. Let's get some angels and ancestors. Got knowledge, oh, knowledge, wisdom, and guidance for Libra for this week. Have some cards for Libra, please. Libra, do you know it's a fantastic reading? It really is a fantastic reading. Okay, darling, you've got a bit of a pole. You've got Broken Arrow was the first one to come down. It says, embrace the energy of peace, Libra. And that's about being at peace with yourself and being at peace with others. You have Warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. You have the Lady. Enjoy growth and reap rewards. You have Drum. Dream and journey. You have the Great Teacher. Learn from spiritual experiences. You have the elder move beyond ancestral patterns. You have the mirror guardian take time to reflect. You have the direction guardian choose your path. And lastly, not least, you have the medicine guardian be open to healing information. So it may just be whoever or whatever this is hasn't been completely revealed to you right now um, and some information is going to come in that's going to make all the difference in the world Libra listen have a fantastic week pop a message in below please like for me but pop a message in below and let me know um, if this is if, if this comes about for you absolutely let me know all right, my darlings, please take care of yourselves. Be safe wherever you are. And I will see you in next week's reading. Bye for now.